What's going on friends? Before we get into the video, I just want to let you guys know about Graded Guard. Graded Guard is a phone case for your slabs. Stackable, colorful, awesomeness that will protect your slab from drops, scratches, and it looks amazing. And if you guys are interested, there are over 12 different colors. And if you use my code GNFIRED, you get 20% off your whole entire order because I got you guys with the hookup. Never pay full price and the link will be in the description. What's going on guys? How y'all doing today? Hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of my PC, aka personal collection. So this is my LA Lakers Championship Winner Autographs Collection. So let's get into it. First off we got Luke Walton, Mr. Bench Player. Possibly won the decent coach uh, in the future. Hopefully, he does pretty well with his coaching. Kobe said he has won the greatest basketball mind in the NBA. So, got feel him. Lou Walton. So, the thing about my collection is all these stuff. I probably got these for so cheap, like Luke Walton's. I got these for under five dollars a piece. They're just so cheap, so I wouldn't be tempted to, you know, want to sell them in the future because these are worth more to me than like five dollars. You know, I'll buy these all day for five bucks, like autographs of these type of players. Andrew Bynum. He was like one of the youngest player in the league when he was drafted at 17 years old. Played. I think he was the last player to be drafted straight from high school. And won two championship with the Lakers. Like $8 card. On car auto Sasa Vucic. Like five bucks. Like this guy, Derek Fisher, he won as many championships as Kobe Bryant did. He was drafted a year after Kobe Bryant did. So 1997. This is so crazy. Like look how beautiful this card is. I got four of them for like 10 bucks. Literally the one touch probably cost more than this card. But they, they mean more to me, you know. I, I like collecting cheaper stuff like these. Because it doesn't make, it literally makes no sense that I can buy this car for $5 and if you go to a signing or meet and greet, it will probably cost around $20 to $100 to get a signature. Like it makes no sense at all. But um, the more expensive stuff like this, Magic Johnson, one of the greatest Laker player and one of the greatest NBA player of all time. I got this car for $50. It's autograph. It's not on car auto. It's a newer car. But still. He is a GOAT. He is a legend. And his cars are cheaper than some of these rookie like. Poke. The guy from Thunders for example. Poke or Lamella Ball or stuff like that. Which is ridiculous. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on car auto numbered. I got this in 2020. 2020 for about I think 200 bucks. I can't imagine this car being like more than 300 bucks today, but it's still amazing for one of the greatest players ever. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on car auto, gorgeous. Shaq, Shaq on car auto. It's a newer car it's from 2020. But still, 200 bucks for a beautiful on-car auto of Shaq. Gorgeous. Baron Scott. I love this clear stuff. But the one touch is just amazing. This newer guys, so I actually pay a little bit more. Uh, Talonhorn Tucker, I got about 100 bucks in this. It's a beautiful car though. I think you're kind of lazy, but whatever. That's Caruso. 
Kyle Kuzma. Danny Green won three championships with three different teams, just like LeBron, KCP, Avery Bradley. So some of these stuff I'm kind of like torn up again uh, on. Like a lot of these guys uh, during the bubble year, they were um, in the team, but they didn't play in the bubble. But they still got a ring, just like DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, he also got a ring with the Lakers, but he didn't even play a game. So I'm kind of like, does that really count? Are they considered a champion? They were with the team, but they didn't really play any game. Like, but they still got a ring. Are they really considered a champion? But talk about champions. Robert Hurry. This guy has more championships than Michael Jordan, I think he either has seven or eight championships. Mr. Clutch, that's what they call him. AC Green. Mr. Movie Star right here, Rick Fox. Kurt. This guy right here, Tyron Lu on car auto. If y'all don't know, this is the guy that Allen Iverson stepped over during the game, the most disrespectful play or sequence in NBA history, supposedly. <laughs> uh, he coached the Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron James and Kyrie Irving to come back a 3-1 deficit against the Golden State Warriors, and he's currently coaching the LA Clippers. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they do well. And here's another one of his auto. Michael Cooper. Jamal Wilkes. Uncle Auto. Beautiful. The logo man Cherry West. Got this for 80 bucks. This is crazy. He's literally the logo. People paying millions of dollars for triple logo man. I got the triple logo man. <laughs> this kind of sucks that this is a you know sticker, but it's still cool. Got this for like thirty bucks, man. It's so cheap. Another Rick Fox on car auto. The camera is about to die, so gotta go fast. But this is the thing. He got the Laker logo right, but he's wearing the. Brooklyn uniform, like why Panini? You can Photoshop rookies in uh, in their college uniform into their pro uniforms. Why can't he, why can't you just do it for these? Like I hate when they do that. Having the old like a different uniform on a car with a different team, like I hate that. That's one of my pet peeves. Lamar Odom, the Kardashian curse. He's smoking crack now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, so this guy was traded for the Shaq deal. Went to from Miami to the Lakers. Uh, Miami get Shaq. They got a championship uh, from that trade, and he got two championships from that trade. Uh, he was actually at the first coach of collision in Atlanta, going around signing stuff, I guess. But I, I wasn't there for that. So Shannon Brown, he's uh, one of the better bench player for the Lakers. As always guys, thank you so much for watching my video and please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and like, comment down below, it's good for algorithm and please, if you haven't, give me a follow on Instagram at G-M-F-I-R-E-D. Thank you so much, fire!